it's time to talk about science for next year. I'm so excited. Hi, my name is Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'm very thankful that you're here. I'm thankful for your time. And I'm so excited today we are talking about our science plans for the next academic year. Um, my daughter is going into fifth grade, but keep in mind that many of the uh, supplements, many of the manipulatives, many of the resources that I'm getting ready to talk about actually can be used for a wide variety of grade levels. This video is part of a collaboration being hosted by Ingrid from the Ingrid Chronicles, as well as Kim, the homeschooling Grammy. So please make sure you check out their channels as well as a playlist to get all kinds of ideas of other mamas and what they are planning on doing for science and Bible for next year. So I need a huge, huge, huge disclaimer on this one. Um, my daughter has grown up her whole life with two parents that just love science. And so um, with that in mind, <laughs> She has had to dial us back a little, I guess, to not be too overly excited about, um, about this coming year. And I will explain that in just one second. So uh, keep in mind that my daughter um, has dealt with these topics for her basically her whole life. And um, so let's just jump into it and I'll explain what I'm talking about. For science for next year, we are going to do master books, Heaven and Earth. So Heaven and Earth includes our weather and water, our universe, and then our planet Earth. I did purchase the book as well as the teacher's guide. This is slated for grades three through eight. Uh, with this master books curriculum, with the science curriculum, I really like the teacher's guide. If you have the suggested schedule, um, then you'll have worksheets for the different lessons. You also get tests and quizzes. So this um, does have tests and quizzes with it. And then you'll have the answers, which is nice. And finally, there are this master supply list for each of the different um, each of the different units and so that is very nice as well because it tells you what the supply is as well as the lessons that's needed so now let me tell you why i'm so excited <laughs> we are starting with our universe our universe is the second section in this book but um you don't really need to go by sections with the way they have this set up because what Master Books did was take the answers in Genesis individual units and then they combined them into um, three units that really made sense to be together. For our universe, we do space models, outer space, sun and moon, planets, and then the space program. So this is the one we're starting on. Now just a little info about me. I have been interested in the space program my whole life. So when I was younger, I babysat so that I could pay to go to space camp in Huntsville, Alabama. It was amazing, but it's just, it's been a lifelong love of space, which is why I kind of have to dial it back a little bit with this unit because I could just, we could just do it all year. But let's talk about what we are doing. <laughs> So originally I planned on using just the heaven and earth as our textbook. Um, Master Books has very short lessons. It's about two pages, sometimes a little bit more. If it's a blue box, then this would be your um, third through fifth graders experiment or uh, additional learnings. And then the green box, it's considered the challenge. So that's the sixth through eighth grader. But then <laughs> the good and the beautiful had their space unit for a free download. And so I did download their space science unit basically because I was curious to see what it was like. And I do have to admit, they have amazing, amazing pictures in this unit. Something else that I really like about this unit is the 
hands-on projects that they do. Uh, we did this great hands-on project in determining how far the different planets were from each other as well as the sun with toilet paper and it was very impactful. So that was a lot of fun. What we did was we rolled out a piece of toilet paper, okay. a long piece, a long piece, and then we got nine little rocks and then this one big one. Okay. That's the sun. Okay. Then this one is Mercury, mm -hmm. Venus, Earth, Mars, and then that's an asteroid asteroid bound. Basically for the universe or for the space science part I'm going to be combining master books heaven and earth and the good and the beautiful. I'm really going to be concentrating on the reading in this. We like the way this is laid out. I like the passages. Um, I, I like pretty much everything about the reading portion but the good and the beautiful has much better pictures and I really like some of their activities. They have some great activities in this book. So for at least the space science part, we're just combining these two. Um, like I said, this was the free download when I got it. So we're going to be using that for space science and then we'll go back to utilizing this for um, by itself. With our universe, we talk about planet Earth, the sun and the moon, gravity, telescopes. Um, we also talk about constellations. So there are quite a few pieces that are involved in the My Universe. So we have started off this unit with Who Was Galileo. We will also be reading Who Was Neil Armstrong. And then if we have time, I would like to read Endurance, which is Scott Kelly's um, My Year in Space and How I Got There. So I, I would like to read that if we have time as well. We also will be reading Destination Moon, which is a nice book about the moon and about the space race. In March of this past year, during our Women's History Month, we did read Hidden Figures and watch the movie, which would be an amazing addition to this if you have not already done so. And then our last, my last book that I have is Magic School Bus Lost in the Solar System. We do like the Magic School Bus books. Um, she likes the TV shows better, so we will probably be watching that as well. I do have three DK books. Didn't purchase any of these for this unit. These are ones that we already had in our house, which should tell you a lot, right? <laughs> so Space, a Visual Encyclopedia, which with all DK books, it, they just have great pictures and um, information. Astronomy, which again, wonderful information. And, the, and finally, we have Starfinder, which is a step-by-step -step guide to the night sky. Um, shows the different constellations, how to find them. My daughter's great grandma did buy her a telescope, which we have already used, but it put, we put it together. And so it, um, so here's a picture of her using it. I did find these constellation discs, which gives you the constellation and then you can see um, how they line up together. And it says what season. So this is for your summer, here's winter. So these are, fun as well to utilize. Now some of the activities for the our universe that we're going to be doing is our solar system planetarium and I will put in the description box the links to everything that I can find. Then we had re we were able to purchase this a few years ago um, at a store that was going out of business. And we had already used some of these, but we had not done this Earth one, the Earth and the Moon yet, but Ellie got to do it the other day. So it is very cool. So she, this was a blue ball, and then she had to paint on here, and then this is the Moon, and it really shows how the Moon goes around the Earth. And then also how the Earth can rotate on its axis. And then we have Legos, <laughs> so the Lego city. So we'll be doing that as well. 
finally, just because I think it's really cool, um, we won this. So this is um, a piece from Apollo 11. So right there. And so this is way cool. I think that this is neat. And we have it um, in our school space. And so this is something else that she's pretty used to having around her. <laughs> so that's what we're doing for our universe. Next, we're going to do our weather and water. And <laughs> honestly, the reason we're doing our, we went back and forth as to whether we should do our weather and water or our planet Earth next. And I'll explain why we um, put our planet Earth last. But we're doing our weather and water for a second, which, um, I don't really know that much about weather and water and um, neither does my husband. I did find at the dollar store this great clouds um, to the sky that talks about the different types of clouds. And then out of the blue, I received a phone call from someone who I hadn't spoken to in probably a year and she's like, hey, would you like a weather sensor? And so I said, sure. So we now have a weather sensor that we are going to learn how to use. And so that should be really interesting. And then finally, I do have one more magic school bus, which is stuck in a hurricane. Then we will be doing different experiments like the making a cloud in a jar and different um, ideas like that, which are included in our weather and water section. We'll be doing a variety of experiments. I have this super science world of wow, which includes some really great hands-on projects and different investigations. And so we'll be using this um, during the weather and water section. And so I think that that will be really fun. Now, the reason <laughs> that we decided to go ahead and put weather and water in between the universe and the planet Earth is because I love the universe part. I love the space part. I love all of that. My husband loves the planet Earth part. Um, so much so when I got married, I didn't realize that you were supposed to decorate your house with rocks. So yes, we actually decorate our house with rocks. I have so many rocks in my house that he had before we got married and then also um, that he's just collected along the way. This one's got a fossil in it. And so we just decorate with rocks. And um, so when we get to the, our planet Earth, you know, my daughter is going to get uh, so much information from my husband. And so that's really why we put the water one in between to kind of give her a little bit of break because with me, she'll, she'll get so much information for the universe. And then for the um, planet earth, she'll get so much information from my husband that it was just good. We said, well, let's give her a little bit of break. Now I did get a few additional pieces for the our earth portion but actually i really think it's going to be so much of outdoors with my husband talking to her explaining different things we're going to go fossil collecting we're going to go rock collecting we're going to be doing all of those fun great outdoor activities and that's going to be a major portion of um that of our section on our planet earth for our planet earth we have um, origins and glaciers, rocks and minerals, which we have that covered. <laughs> we also have mountains and movements, which is something else that we have covered, and then water and erosion. Um, we are able to really go on a, field, a, a close field trip to see water and erosion and how that is impacted. Uh, my husband has consistently explained these things to my daughter when to listen. <laughs> throughout her life. So again, these are, um, these are areas where I'm passionate about it and he's passionate about it and we try not to just overwhelm her. What I did get to add to our planet Earth is the big book of Earth and Sky. This is a 15 foot chart and it is amazing. So you start, you start with the Earth's atmosphere 
and then you move to the clouds. Then you can see you go into caves and different types of rock formations. And then finally you're underwater. So this is a great resource. I really like it. Finally, I do have Explore the Grand Canyon and Explore Mount St. Helens. Obviously, we'll be doing some experiments with earthquakes, with volcanoes, and those types of exciting experiments. So this book does also have experiments for earthquakes, volcanoes, um, wind power for bible for the coming school year we are planning on doing this devotional indescribable it's a hundred devotions about god and science i think that this will go very well with our science curriculum here's the story of the stars so many of my friends recommended it to me and i think it will be a great addition to what we are studying in science and help bring science god the bible all together um, master books does a really good job of incorporating the biblical worldview into uh, their science curriculum i think that indescribable will just um, increase that knowledge and that connection now, if we do by chance finish this, the author has another science one. And if we like it, then we'll go to the other science one as well. If not, we'll find something else. But this is what we are planning on utilizing for Bible. So those are our picks for science and Bible for the upcoming school year. Um, thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please make sure you leave those down in the comments. I will answer them to the best of my ability. I am so excited about the coming year. I've been having so much fun doing these curriculum picks and I'm also really enjoying getting to know you. So thank you so much. I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.